I feel your spider man but I see the sun creeping in why you gotta do me like that oh, 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 oh I'm sick of the feeling you left me burning felt it every morning I ain't going down the road no more so when you see all of your friends tell them that it just don't make no sense Cause baby when you see me through that lens that's where I'm gonna pull up in a bed Hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough, man. I'm super excited today. Um, I got sent a package from Swell, right? And they do really nice suck gates for the uh, side of boats. I've done um, some reviews with the Swell that were unpaid. I didn't get paid anything for it. And we've compared them to other models or different uh, companies. And uh, this has been our go-to. We've done a lot of uh, wave videos, like how to get your biggest wave. I'll, I'll put some uh, links here so you can watch those videos. But we've kind of stuck with the swell. Uh, it's always worked good for us. Like I always felt the best bang for the buck and the compact of it and um, the wave that it puts up has always been really good. So I, this has been our favorite and it's like almost bulletproof. Have you ever seen the quality on this? So um, I think they saw one of our reviews we did on their stuff and they said, hey, what do you think about trying out? We have a new version that we wouldn't mind you checking out and just giving us some feedback on it. And uh, so here we are, man. I have not seen it yet, and I have not gone online to see their new model. I just kind of wanted it to be a new experience for me, which translates to you. So I haven't even opened this yet. I mean, I cut this, but I haven't opened it yet, and I don't, I don't know anything about it. So I am gonna open it in front of you guys, and we are gonna take a look at it. So let's see here. Now this is their new style. Okay, I'm looking at it. Now it has the same, it appears to have the same suction cup, you know, that they've had before. But what looks different is this. Okay, this is cool. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so it looks to me, like, let's see if I'm right. Okay, yeah, this is cool. So now there's some adjustability on the size. So let's bring the old one over here and check this out. So this is their previous one, right? And this kind of like, would be like a duplicate of the two, right? But now, it appears that I can make this bigger, right? So you may have a VLX or you may have an LSV or a bigger boat and you can actually fine tune the wave with some adjustability, man. That is really cool. And then you just flip it up in the back like this, right? Very simple and that locks it, man. Rock solid, really cool. And also, oh, this is neat. They also have some rotation on it. Oh wow, this is really engineered good. So look, it has, you can actually rotate the degrees on it and they're marked, I don't know if you can see here. See it says starboard side, port side. I don't know, you probably can't see it. But anyway, there's some adjustments in there. So you can, cause the thing is like this, your boat, your boat when, all right, there we go. So the thing is this, when you put this on your boat, your boat, like because the, the nose comes in the air, it will tilt like this, right? Well, now you're able to rotate this so it's gonna be, you're getting, instead of instead of it being like this in the water, it's gonna be, it looks like it's gonna be like this. You're gonna get a square hit on this. So that is cool. And I've never seen one like this. So I can't wait, man. We're gonna go out to Pine Flat, California. We're gonna try it out. We'll do some testing on it and see if we can fine tune this thing. And see if we can get some big waves. All right, man, let's go check it out. All right, I think the first thing that we should probably do is just run it in like the neutral position, which would kind of be what this is, right? I mean, it would simulate the original swell. And uh, that is basically this, this all the way down and the rotation between the port and the starboard side in the neutral position. So I'll put it on and uh, we'll get some video of it and see what it looks like. Let's take a look at the wave with the swell in different extensions. This is the neutral position, which is all the way down. It's still about an inch longer than the original swell, but we love the original swell. So this is a pretty decent wave. It has a lot of push, um, not a lot of whitewash going over the face. That's good. And uh, yeah, 
Also, running the boat at 11.2 compared to 10.8 will change the wave just a little bit. So here is the wave at one inch extension, which is probably about two inches off the original. And I thought this was a really good wave. Um, look at how clean that tube is at the end, right? And how nicely formed the wave is. Uh, personally, I thought this was probably close to the best it could get on this boat. And it goes to what we said before, you know, the swell wasn't meant to say, okay, put this thing to the max and let it rip. That'll be the best. That's just not the case, man. Uh, bigger is not always better. And you can see here that now extended out to the two and a half inch mark, which would be about three and a half inches off the original. You can see that the shape of the wave isn't quite as good, right? I mean, you can, especially around the lip, you can see that it's kind of lost some of its form. Um, so, yeah, bigger's not always better, but that's what's cool about this thing, is that you can really fine tune it to your boat. Now this is the full extension, and I wanna mention that, you know, the more that you extend this out, just like I have said in other reviews when we compared it to other things, the bigger that something is, the more that you're gonna have to be up on the RPMs, of course that means more, you're gonna pay more in fuel, but you're really, like we had to take this thing from about 2,800 to about 3,200 RPMs, to get this wave where it needs to be, right, at 11.2. So that's something you need to think about. Anytime you put something bigger in the water, you're gonna, you're gonna have to drag it longer. So, and I didn't necessarily think it was a better wave than the one to one and a half inch extension. Now, one thing I wanted to do uh, before I left is I wanted to slow it down to 10.8 miles an hour on the full extension, just so you could see it. And you can see it curls a little bit better and uh, you, you, you can't go as far back in the wave, and I think you have to have more of an experienced rider when you go faster, because they have to be able to keep up with the boat a little bit more. But um, if you slow it down, that definitely changes the wave. So there's something to think about, and uh, there's a hopefully you get some idea of what our wave looked like at the different locations of the swell suck I feel your spot in my bed. I see the sun creeping in. Why you gotta do me like that? Oh, 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 I'm sick of the feeling you left me burning. Felt it every morning. I ain't going down the road no more. So when you see all of your friends, tell them that it just don't make no sense. Cause baby, when you see me through that lens, that's where I'm gonna pull up in a bend. I just. Just like the sun, I ain't even tripping that bad. Oh, 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 oh. I just still got feelings for you, my darling. Thought I was your prince charming. I ain't going down the road no more. So when you see your family, tell them not to hold me all happy. Baby, when you do all this to me. Okay, well, done some more testing with this thing now that I've ridden it. And uh, I'm gonna show you like, cause a lot of people have boats and everything is gonna be relative to what you have, right? But I just wanna show you what I have and how my boat sits in the water. And I've done a lot of testing with this to make it like where it is. So I'm gonna go to this side of the boat over here. And I'm just gonna show you the Malibu sign on this wake setter. And you see where it is, right, right here, the water line. I've had that water line touching the bottom of that and that's pushing it to the edge. And that doesn't necessarily always mean that that's better. Now, these older boats, when I say older, I'm talking about, you know, 2012 and older, maybe 10 and older, I don't know. But you'll notice that the boat is listed, and that's a thing that most people don't do right. And you'll see that the right side of the boat sticks out of the water, and the left side goes in the water. Now, I've heard you don't have to list them that bad or that much on the new boats. I can't tell you that, I'm not experienced enough with that. But what I do want to show you, too, is where I have, where I've adjusted the set gate after riding a few times, and I've actually fine-tuned it even more. But really, look at how much gap is on this Malibu sign, right? So we probably got about, what, three inches on the other side and about 10, nine to 10 inches over here, right? So that helps 
the wave. So you don't always have to pack down. More weight is not always better. And two, so I want to talk about this because I actually dialed it back just a tick more than I originally thought I was going to do. I'm going to kind of show you here. You can see that. So it's probably about an inch and a quarter out from the minimum. And so, you know, even with these guys, with the swell set gate, when they designed this, they didn't design it for bigger is better because it's not always better on every boat. If I had a 24 footer, this is a 21. If I had a 24 foot boat, a bigger might be better, but it wasn't on this one. This adjustment right here was the best, okay? And I'll go underwater just so you can see it. I'm not sure if you're gonna do, oh, before I do that, cause it sounds gonna get weird. I actually also moved the set gate up to this top line on my boat. It, I had it low, but it was kind of weird because with the positioning of this, it actually threw a bunch of water over the deck and made the white, made the face not very good. So when I moved it up a little bit, for some reason it took that out. So I moved it up, the wave got a lot better, and I'll kind of go under a little bit and hopefully you can kind of see where we are positioned on this boat. For a lot of people, including myself, half the fun of wake surfing and even owning a boat is creating the wave, right? Because there's a lot of mathematical equations that happen around a boat to make a wave. Everything from weight distribution, power wedge location, uh, where people are sitting in the boats, the suck gate location, all of that stuff matters. And uh, it's fun, man. It's fun to build a wave and then go tell your buddies, you know, when you get back, man, you should have seen that wave I had. It was so killer. And you know, if you have wake um, surf buddies that have boats, a lot of times those people will send you messages, man, check out this wave I created. Look at this thing, right? And you, ooh, ah, oh, that's awesome, dude. You know, because there's something cool about it. Well, this really makes that fun because all those adjustments from the pitch rotation, I mean the pitch and the, um, you know, how far out it can extend, all of that stuff changes the wave a little bit. So it is fun and you can really fine tune uh, your wake surfing experience. So for us, we loved it. Uh, this will probably be the one I'll use. It feels very sturdy um, and I like the compact, um, compactness of it all. Uh, just like the original, you can stow it away and it doesn't take up a bunch of room. You don't have to put any Velcro on the side of the boat or anything weird like that. The suction cups are very sturdy and uh, yeah, man, we're looking forward to it and I can't wait to use it. And I want to thank all the uh, people at Swell that sent this to us for us to try. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. This is Billy at BTEV.